G'day folks, this is George from Race Max Direct, and in today's edition of Tech Talk, we're going to shine the spotlight on an exciting product made by IC Engine Works, which is a header modelling system that will make the whole process of designing and manufacturing headers a whole lot easier. As I mentioned in the intro, the IC Engine Works header modelling kits is a full system that helps you design and manufacture your own headers with minimal amount of fuss. So the kits come in three basic stages. Stage one is design and modeling. Stage two is tube cutting. And stage three is assembly and welding. Let's go through each step one by one. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, this is a three-stage header modeling system that helps you design and manufacture your own headers. So the whole principle of the kit is designed around these plastic blocks. Now these blocks just snap together, just like that, just like Lego and help you design and perfect your design before you even start making them out of pipe. Now let's quickly cover what you get in a kit. So what we've got here is what they call a Pro Kit. So this kit comes in a, a really sturdy plastic carry case that's going to keep everything together when you're not using it. And what you get is a series of bags, like this. Now each bag's got all the individual blocks in there. Now you've got straights and you've got also a whole different series of centre line radius blocks to cater for all different centre line radius bends. Now each block looks like that and that represents one inch of tubing. So each bag has got 60 blocks which will represent 60 inches of tubing. And what you also get is a tube and these tubes have got your block adapters which help you attach the first block to your header flanges. And then also you get your tack welding clamps. Now these will help you when you go to the assembly and welding stage to tack everything together. And you also get full instructions and you get a cutting sheet as well which helps you work out how much material you're going to use. Now the very first thing you're going to do when you're going to start building your header system is you're going to have your, your, your engine in the car set in the position, you're going to have your collector in the position you want your exhaust to exit at. So you're going to start off with some little stubs of short tubing that's going to come out of your, your header flange like that. And this is going to give you your starting point for your header blocks. So what they do is they come with this adapter there, and that simply gives you the starting point for your first block. So your block snaps into that, and then goes into your, your first tube stub there, and use an Allen key. And you just nip it up and what that does is it expands inside the pipe and grips the pipe and just gives you your starting point to start adding your blocks coming out of the, the header flange like that. Now once you've got your first block in place on your header flange, you can start just playing with the blocks and snapping them together in place like that and start building your headers, play with the design, get it to fit around everything, get the lengths right, get them as even as possible and you just start playing around with it until you're happy with it. Another design feature of these plastic blocks is these reference marks that follow the center line of each block. Now, what they do is they help you to determine where your joins are going to be. So I'll just show you quickly up close. So you see these little arrows there? So what they do is they're, they're right along the center line of the bend. So you try to, as much as you can to keep them in line because that means you can make that section out of one piece of tubing, one, one piece of the bend. But where you've got a break in the arrows, like that, see that, see that break there, they're not in line? That means you're going to have a joint there. So you break it apart there, and then you know you've got to make a section of, of tubing like that. Now stage two is tube cutting. Once you're playing with your blocks, you've perfected your design, you've got all your lengths as close as possible together, um, you, you clear everything properly in your chassis um, and you move around all the, the marks as best you can to keep them in line and minimise your joints. 
then you break each primary pipe apart into sections like that, and then you want to transfer those cut lines onto your onto your U bend and start cutting. Now, when you get to the actual cutting stage of, of the bends, what you do is you get your section of your plastic blocks like that with all, all your alignment marks all in line, so you know you're going to have to make that out of one piece. You're going to lay that over your bend and line it up exactly, and then you're going to transfer your cutting lines there and there, and then cut it on your bandsaw, and that will re reduce that section out of pipe. Now, you can use their optional cutting jig as well, which makes the job very accurate and easy to do. And that works in conjunction with your bandsaw and will line up the plastic blocks exactly in line with the, the cutting blade of your bandsaw. And then you can just transfer it onto the pipe and just cut that quickly and safely and accurately. Now, the final stage of your header project is the actual assembly and welding. So, when you've got your actual pieces of cut tubing all prepped and ready to go, Instead of getting someone to hold it on the car and try to tack it and hold it in the right place and just hope you're going to get it all in the right alignment, they've actually come up with this ingenious little clamp that helps you assemble them in the car or on the bench and clamp two halves of pipe together and what you do is you just tighten this up and it grips the pipe and it holds the joint nice and tight and in perfect alignment and allows you to get in there with your TIG welder in between the gaps of the strap and TIG weld the joint in a few places before you take it apart and fully weld it. That way you're going to get it right the first time. Now you can see here how you typically use the tack welding clamps. So you've got a few joints there that we need to tack weld. So we've used our clamps to hold each of the joints in perfect alignment and it's allowed us to get in there with the TIG welder and tack each joint and keep everything in, in perfect relationship with each other before we pull it apart and, and actually finish weld it. So you do that with all your pipes one by one until you end up with your finished headers. How easy is that? Now another cool feature of the kit is this what they call a control sheet. And what this does, it helps you work out exactly how much material you're going to need so then you can accurately work out your costs you know if you're doing it professionally you can you can quote up the job you know exactly what sort of material you're going to use now, if you're going to use stainless steel that can get expensive if you buy too much and you're going to have a lot of waste so what you do is you can use your little sections like this you mark your cut lines on each of the u-bends and you can actually try to maximize all that u-bend and maximize uh, the amount of material you've got to, to get the job done with the least amount of U-bends. That's a great feature. Now I've also got header kits to suit turbo headers and these come in two sizes 1250 NP and 1500 NP. The NP stands for nominal pipe and it's the same principle applies. It comes with a series of straight and angled blocks and they snap together like that and you just you know, play with the design and get it right and then you can transfer that onto the actual pipe and manufacture your, your turbo headers a lot faster and easier. Now if you really like the idea of these tack welding clamps, they're available for purchase on their own. They come in this can of four like that, and you buy one can per size of, of clamps, and they're available in the primary sizes from inch and five eight through to two inch, and then also in the full exhaust in two and a half and three inch sizes. So there you have it folks. Hope you enjoyed our little feature on the IC Engine Works header modeling systems. Now you can really see how these things are going to save you a lot of time and money in building your own headers. Doesn't matter if you're a home enthusiast, uh, you've got a race team, or you've got a fabrication shop, these things are really going to save you a lot of time and money in doing headers. If you want some more information, give us a call at the shop on 029 791 5030. You can drop us an email at sales at racemaxdirect.com.au or you can find us on the social pages at Facebook and Instagram. Again, I'm George from Racemax. Catch you next time.